the Bears are making a massive change to where their new stadium will be located. Big news this morning. Instead of moving to Arlington Heights, the team is staying here in Chicago. And sweet Lou Canellis is here now to discuss the moves. But Lou, it's always a good morning when we can see you at 7.13 a.m. <laughs> what is your initial... I'm on my way to go to school with my daughter. I so know I'm you are. Ready. We won't keep you. So what is your initial reaction to the team staying in Chicago? It's Christmas. Yeah. Listen, I live across the street from Soldier Field. I think this is terrific for the Bears. It's terrific for the city of Chicago. It's going to provide jobs. The Bears are willing to invest some of their own money into this project. I know Kevin Warren, when he took the job here in Chicago, fell in love with this city. He lives in the city. And while there already had been a deal to purchase the land at Arlington Racetrack, he felt that the Bears belonged in the city of Chicago. And right now, the Bears, as an organization, have said that they are ready to commit $2 billion if it can be worked out on the lakefront at the Museum Park area. So now that we know that the team wants to stay here in the city, what's the next step of the stadium process? Well, the next step is to find out, number one, how much will the stadium cost? We knew that SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles cost the Rams five and a half billion dollars. Mm -hmm. But Stan Kroenke, who is a real estate developer, put up all the money. So that was privately funded. In this case, the Bears are willing to put up two billion. From what I understand, and I've talked to a number of people here in the Chicago area, uh, construction people, the price tag for a stadium here on the lakefront in Chicago is somewhere in the neighborhood of $3 billion. So if the Bears are willing to put up $2 billion, where's the rest of the money coming from? The NFL will contribute money, as they do for stadiums that are built by teams in their league. And then there will be some publicly uh, public money that will need to come from Illinois taxpayers, how that comes from Illinois taxpayers is to be determined. Is it through the 2% hotel tax that right now is contributing to the Illinois Sports Authority that helped build Soldier Field, go through the renovation of Soldier Field back in 2002 and guaranteed rate right on the south side? Um, we're going to find out, but these are conversations that need to be had with Illinois lawmakers. But at least what we found out today is the Bears have shifted their focus from Arlington to Chicago. Now, if this stadium does end up getting done and it is a dome, what would that mean for the city of Chicago in terms of maybe getting a Final Four or even a Super Bowl to come here? Well, I think it's great. I mean, that's the difference between what the Bears are trying to build on the lakefront opposed to what the White Sox are trying to build in the uh, 78 project with Midwest Realty. Um, this is something that the Bears can use and will generate dollars, economic dollars for the city of Chicago through a Super Bowl, through a Final Four, through potentially the Big Ten basketball championship and football championship, through a Taylor Swift concert that was had at Soldier Field and now can be in this new dome stadium. The only obstacle, one of the obstacles, obviously money is one, and number two will be dealing with friends of the park who already, have, you know, George Lucas tried to build the Star Wars Museum on this same piece of property, the South parking lot, and then McCormick Place South, and they were able to stop that. And George Lucas was prepared to pick up $700 million and spend his own money to build that museum. It didn't happen. There has to be a way to work with Friends of the Park, and what the Bears have announced is they will take Soldier Field and turn that into green space for the public, for Chicagoans, for visitors to use, and it will help beautify the area. Something that's been wanted here in this area in the South Loop for a number of years, the Museum Park campus hasn't grown like many felt it was going to. It's still a parking lot, and I see what the Bears are arguing. We're going to take a parking lot, put a stadium, and add more green space. Chicagoans want that as long as they don't have to foot the whole bill. All right, Lou Canellis, thank you. You can take your daughter to school now. We'll see you tonight <laughs> at 5 and 9.